Hey guys, Dr. Evans here, and in this video I want to talk you through Certified Reagent Operations, or CROs. First of all, let me give you a little bit of background on why this assignment exists and what its purpose is. So CROs, the, the idea behind CROs is that psychomotor learning, learning how to do particular skills with your hands in the laboratory, chemical handling and manipulation is an important learning goal in the first year chemistry laboratory courses. And, and to that end, if and really when you develop technical expertise in chemical handling, I want to reward you for that. And that's the general idea behind a CRO. It's a way to certify your ability to perform the most important and most fundamental, really, chemical handling operations in a chemistry laboratory. You know, at the 1000 level, these are going to be operations like weighing out a solid, transferring a liquid via pipette, preparing a solution either from solid or by diluting a stock solution, obtaining a visible absorption spectrum, using a Bunsen burner, things like this. These fundamental techniques, once you can do them accurately, precisely, and safely, really, you should earn points for that. And that's the idea behind a CRO. Now, let's break down the, the name, Certified Reagent Operation. So first, reagent operation. What does that mean? Well, that means any kind of chemical handling. And it's those operations that I just referred to. Weighing a solid, transferring a liquid, preparing a solution. All of these things are operations involving some kind of chemical reagent where either accuracy and precision is important, safety is important, safety is important in any case, and, uh, and proper technique is important to executing the operation successfully. So certified just means that another person has verified that you have in fact carried out the reagent operation safely and with accurate and precise technique. So the certification is really just a series of check boxes that an observer is going to check off as what I call the operator, the person carrying out the operation, um, does the reagent operation. And you'll have tens and maybe even hundreds of opportunities to carry out reagent operations over the course of the semester in your first year chemistry laboratory course. And so I want to emphasize, don't go out of your way to do these. They will arise naturally as you're completing your experiments. But you should be mindful that it's important to get some of your reagent operations certified throughout the semester and make steady progress toward completing your CROs as the semester goes by. You don't want to end up in the last week of lab with all of these to do. The other thing I wanted to mention was about points for these. So in terms of rewarding the operation, the operator, of course, by certifying the operation, clearly knows how to do the technique, and that's worth points. But the person who observes the operation is also worthy of points because they're watching the operation take place, potentially learning from that process, and testing their own knowledge of how the technique should work and learning as they see the operation and compare to the check boxes that they're supposed to check. So points will be awarded both for the operator, the person who carries out the operation, and what I call the observer, the person who's watching. And most typically, the operator will be, for example, you, and the observer will be your lab partner. And your TA will also get involved in a way I'll get into in a second. So the idea of certified reagent operations, again, is just to verify that you can carry out laboratory techniques in an accurate, precise, and safe way. And there are somewhere between eight and 10 of these, I, I believe, that you'll need to complete um, as the semester proceeds. But again, you're going to have many, many opportunities to do this as we complete experiments in your first year chemistry course. So let's get into the logistics now of how this actually works. So say you've decided you need to complete one of your CROs and there's some operation in the protocol coming up that you know, corresponds to one of the reagent operations that you can get certified. So the first thing you want to do is, is check with your lab partner and make sure that they're down to observe you um, doing this operation. And if your lab partner asks you to observe, do keep in mind that's worth points on both sides of the interaction. So there is an incentive for observers to get involved as well. Once you're in agreement that you're going to carry out a CRO, um, then examine the protocol and find one of these forms in your lab room. This is the reagent operation certification form. It's really the key to receiving points for a CRO. 
This QR code is a link to this video in case you need a refresher on how this works. And underneath the heading, six, right now, six reagent operations are listed. Pipetting a liquid, weighing a solid, preparing a solution, obtaining a visible absorption spectrum, titrating, and heating a solid using a Bunsen burner. And so you'll want to find which of these corresponds to the operation in the protocol you're about to perform and make sure that your observer knows you know, which box that they should be looking at here. The next step then is just to carry out the operation under observation of your lab partner or other observer. And as you do this, it's important for you to understand what's on these checkboxes so that you actually carry out the operation according to specifications, right? And there are things like operating safely and, and with good technique without contamination, without spills, um, and for operations where you're measuring out a chemical, transferring a liquid via pipette, for example, or weighing out a solid, if there's a target to hit, hitting that target is an important checkbox within a certain percentage. Typically, plus or minus 5% is, is pretty typical. As long as you're inside that window, you're good to go. Once the operation's done, as you're doing it, the observer should be checking off the boxes that, yes, everything was done according to the specifications of the certified reagent operation. And once that's done, you'll add your name at the bottom and your signature. Yes, I've done this operation. Your lab partner or observer will add their name and signature at the bottom to verify that they've observed uh, faithfully. And then you'll take the form to your TA and they will sign, essentially just to verify that the interaction actually took place, and you'll add today's date, and that just helps us know which experiment this corresponds to, when it should be turned in, all that good stuff. Now, once you've done that, the form's completely filled out, you're essentially done with the CRO as far as in the lab is concerned. But how you actually submit this to Canvas and receive points is also important to understand logistically. So now I'm going to move over to Canvas stop being in the lab and, and start sharing my screen and we're going to talk about how you take this form and actually submit it on canvas before we go there one last thing i'll mention is that it's the operator's responsibility to submit this form so when it's done don't give it to your ta hold on to it digitize it as soon as you can by scanning it using your phone or a scanner any any scanner you can get your hands on and you're going to submit this form electronically and that's the operator's responsibility that said, both the operator and observer receive points for CROs, so it's important for the operator to submit these in a timely fashion so that both of you can earn those points. All right, let's head over to Canvas and see how we actually physically submit these, or electronically, as the case may be, submit these CRO forms. Okay, so I've completed my CRO in the lab. I have completed my certification form with the observer checking off all the boxes my name and signature, the observer's name and signature, my TA and the date here. And then I digitized the form by scanning it with an app like Genius Scan. And so now I have it in electronic form. So I'm ready to submit it to Canvas. Before we go there, quick note that you can complete multiple CROs as operator in a single experiment if you'd like. There is a limit. Check the assignment in Canvas or the lab syllabus for the limit to the number of points you can earn for CROs in a given experiment. But up until that limit, you can submit as many CROs as operator as you would like. And um, do combine those into a single PDF when you do this, though. So this is actually two copies of the exact same form. But in general, of course, your forms are going to look slightly different if they're different operations or, or what have you. So we've got this file ready to go. And so now I'm going to head to, this is the Chem1212K lab canvas site in spring 2021. And the, the certified reagent operations assignment is found within the first experiment module. There will be one of these assignments for each experiment, and their numbers will correspond to the number of the experiment. So experiment number one, certified reagent operations one. And this is going to show up somewhere in the middle of the module between the pre-lab and notebook pages, since generally you're going to submit these kind of between the pre-lab and notebook pages generally in the flow, right, since these happen during the lab periods. If I click here, just a brief description of things that I've pretty much already told you related to submitting your CRO. Uh, some information about the points and the limit are here. And just a note for observers that teaching assistants are going to enter points for observers manually. So as the observer, you won't submit anything. Um, but the TA will see your name on the form and apply points through this assignment uh, in the Canvas grader themselves. So no need for the observer to submit anything here. 
Let's move over to the student view and take a look at what this looks like from the student side. So you're going to click Submit Assignment. We're going to navigate to this file. For me, it's CROexample.pdf. This is restricted to PDF files, so if you try to submit something else, it's going to throw an error. Uh, if you would like to add a, a comment, if anything is weird about the form, anything looks off, feel free to add a comment here. And then simply Submit Assignment. And then we have it in hand. And very shortly afterwards, your TA will enter points. And this is as simple as just verifying that all of the boxes were checked. The signatures are there. And in this case, that will earn you 10 points. These numbers of points are going to vary slightly by course and, and term. Um, but at the moment, it's 10 points for each CRO as observer or operator. So the operator receives 10 points and the observer receives 10 points. And it's as simple as that. So I'm hoping this CRO mechanism is a way for you to um, build technical laboratory skills, build chemical handling skills with safety, precision, and accuracy, and get rewarded for that, and also learn by watching others, by serving as an observer, um, and observing what good lab technique looks like. All right, see you all in the lab, guys.